I'm Chris with iPad in Canada. A lot of people use cases on their iOS devices for protection, but would you feel comfortable dropping a bowling ball on your iPad, even with a case on it? How about dropping it from space? Okay, so these are extreme situations that aren't likely to happen in your everyday life. But with your case on, would you feel comfortable if your iPad was bumped off a counter? Or you dropped it while walking? As an iPhone and iPad owner, I get that sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach every time one of the devices fall. The split second before it hits the ground can feel like an eternity. That's where G-Form comes in. A quick background, in short, the company came up with a material that stiffens upon impact and absorbs over 90% of the energy. They call it Reactive Protection Technology, or RPT. They started with athletic products and then figured if the material can protect bones, hey, why can't it protect protect electronic devices. To prove how well their cases work, G-Form has put them to extreme tests, including, as I mentioned, dropping bowling balls on their iPads and even dropping one from space. I'll have a link to their YouTube page in the description box. G-Form's Canadian distributor was nice enough to send me an Extreme Edge and an Extreme Portfolio for review. Now, before I go any further, I'm not about to try any Extreme demos. Instead, I've tested it in what I'll call real-life situations. Now, as you can see, these cases are bright yellow. They also come in black, but I love the brightness of these cases. Because of the protection these are supposed to provide, I was surprised at how flexible the cases were. The padding feels a little like memory foam, but tougher. You can push it in and it springs right back into place. You'll also notice the padding on the four corners that hold your iPad in place. Not only do they keep it secure, it protects the iPad from drops on the corners or drops on the screen. Now when you first start using the cases, it can be a little difficult to get the iPad in, but it does loosen slightly, but you don't want it too loose as it helps protect your device. When you get the iPad in, you'll notice there's a little bit of an air pocket in between the device and the iPad. This helps in the protection when it's dropped on the back. As the impact is absorbed by the padding, it's spread out across the rest of the device. With the Extreme Edge, you'll notice the case does add some bulk to the iPad. It's one of the drawbacks of the case. But at the same time, the edges do make a nice grip for holding your device. On the back, there is a cutout for the camera if you have the iPad 2. And on the top left pad, you'll notice a cutout so you can plug in your headphones. What you will notice is there is no cutout for the power button, the volume rockers, or the orientation lock. You can still use the power button and the volume rockers simply by pushing on the sides or top where they're located. I found it a bit of a hassle at first but quickly got used to it. You can even bend the bottom down without damaging the case so you can charge your iPad while the case is on. The Extreme Portfolio is very similar in design, except of course you get even more screen protection because the material covers the entire device. The Portfolio doesn't have a cutout for the camera. On the inside, you also have a pocket for a stylus or paper or anything else small. What's also nice about the Portfolio is you can use it as a stand in either landscape or portrait orientation. You can even zip it up around your hand and use it this way if you so desire. Okay, so I've gone over the details, but how does it stand up as far as protection? I won't lie, after checking out some YouTube videos showing people breaking their iPads with various G-Form cases, I was a little hesitant to put these to the test, but I couldn't do a fair review without doing some sort of testing. So I thought I'd try what I call real life scenarios. iPad bumped off a table or counter, iPad dropped while taking it out of a bag, and the iPad dropped while walking. For the counter test, I used the Extreme Edge and I dropped it numerous times from a height of about three feet. When it fell, the iPad most often landed on the corners or on the screen. I did this test more than 20 times and Thankfully, nothing happened to the iPad. The case protected it perfectly as advertised. If I had done this without a case, I have no doubt the iPad would be unusable right now. For the out of the bag and dropping, I used the portfolio. Again, I did the test over and over at least 15 times for each, and every time the extreme portfolio held up. Again, the iPad landed on the corners, face down, and sometimes on the back. At this point, I got quite confident and thought, hey, you know what, why not try stepping on it and jumping on it? I used the Extreme Edge for these tests. Now I'm no lightweight, but again, the iPad was undamaged. For me, the G-Form cases lived up to the promise. Now, does this mean if you did some of these tests, you'd get the same results? Most likely. But when you're dealing with electronics and drops, you just never know. There's always a possibility the iPad could get damaged, especially if you're dropping it from, say, a roof, throwing it hard on the ground, or other tests. 
while the price tag may be a little high, 110 for the portfolio in Canada and 55 for the Edge, when you're spending 500 or more dollars on an iPad, I don't think it's outrageous to want something that will offer a lot of protection. If you're someone who's on the go a lot, maybe do a lot of traveling, hiking, work in construction or the oil field, have kids who use the iPad, or you're just a clumsy person, these cases are a perfect fit. I don't think you can go wrong. For more daily iPhone and iPad news, make sure to check out iPhone in Canada and iPadincanada.ca. This has been Chris with iPad in Canada. Thanks for watching.